Hello everybody, another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. Assuming that my microphone's on, it is, that's good. Um, so, <clears throat> one of the things uh, which I remember I wanted to do in VX, and I, I actually had to ask someone myself about this, um, was how to <clears throat> actually put the uh, title screen in. Um, so it's very simple on this, actually. Um, the way you're going to have to do it is go to database and then system and your graph uh, and your title screen is actually here. Uh, you will have to import your graphic and obviously select it there. And draw a game title means that it will put down the uh, title of your game. Obviously, mine's called demo, I think. So it'll come up saying demo. Or if you can, you can remove it and then you obviously can put the game title in your uh, graphic yourself. Um, the actual dimensions for the base game of uh, for the base settings are. Uh, 500, 544 by 416 um, and on my uh, end of an age um, game I have actually got a script in there it's the, I think it's the Yanfly battle engine or the ooh, it's, something, it's one of the Yanfly scripts anyway um, <clears throat> and that enables you to have uh, 640 by 480 which is the biggest you can get um, but some of the stuff especially in the battles um, there's like there's black borders around the edges as well so it doesn't it doesn't work perfectly and sometimes the screen overlaps a bit um, but that's the biggest you can get it anyway so if you're gonna add those scripts in later make it so it's uh, 460 uh, 640 by 480 and then save it <coughs> and then do another version of it um, by uh, 544 by 416 as you can see I've started doing one now uh, just picked a photo that won't be done for I hope we get done for copyright reasons on it. Um, I did shrink it down uh, just to show you. And then obviously, I do it on paint, so you just drag the borders back. And that works perfectly fine. I'm not sure if there's a specific format you have to save it into. Uh, so I'm going to save it into JPEG and then we'll see if that works. If it doesn't, I have to go obviously back and change the. Uh, file type so next go to the resource manager and it is under ooh, uh, ooh, uh, mm. oh, boulder dash it's under one of these <laughs> promise you it's under one of these um, uh, should have looked really before I uh, did that so it's under oh, graphic title book castle the uh. <coughs> ah, so there you go. Tiles one, easy enough. And which one was the one that I did? Was it this one? Let's have a look. Dimensions. Yep. All right. So there it is in there. Hopefully, I think this file type works. We'll have to uh, suck it and see. Uh, so there we go. Is that the same size as the rest of them? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention you can also add the uh, add these effects in afterwards if you wanted to. I don't know why you would. Really. Yeah, I'll put it in a frame. Uh, make it look more stylish. <laughs> um, then as always, save your changes and load up your game. And there it is. Done. Uh, it looks really amazing now. <laughs> Obviously, the more you... Uh, it will look a lot better if you do it yourself, and obviously the, um, yeah, it doesn't look brilliant with that title. You'd be far better off putting your own title in. Uh, but anyway, that's how you put your title in. And um, <clears throat> as I say, if you want to use a the script, then obviously you can get a little bit bigger out of it. Um, and that's basically it. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.